Hey everyone, it's Curly Haired Hero, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi Ranked Battles. So we're gonna waste no time here, we've got our opponent here, Aya, who has an Indeedy, uh, or whatever that thing is called, a Quagsire, and Eevee, so most likely a Gigamax Eevee, uh, a Lapras, possibly also Gigamax, a Gardevoir, and a Mimikyu. Um, so right off the bat, I don't know how well I can handle this. I know Hydreigon's gonna be really good. Uh, cause I can do a good amount of damage. I, I can maybe hurt the Guard of War, it'll probably hurt me more. Uh, I can take down the Mimikyu, possibly. And then there's also the, uh, indeed, D, 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 D that I could take on. I don't know how well Arcanine's gonna do. Um, so let's go ahead and try to bring... Um, let's do Darmanitan, Serena, and Hydreigon. See how that goes. I feel like the Serena, just to cover, obviously, the Quagsire, but also the Lapras. So, should be good in that. I also have the high jump kick, so I can deal with... <laughs> I really like the way people do their elite cards. Um, and I can probably deal with the Eevee with a high jump kick also, maybe? I don't really know how Giga Max Eevee works, to be honest, but let's go ahead and take a look. What we're dealing with here, we've got the Lapras up first, so that's not ideal. Um, I was going to go with Serena first, which would have made this work out a little bit better, but this is also okay. Um, I could go here for the superpower, but I'll be locked into the superpower, uh, which won't be that great. So let's go for the Flare Blitz, which I feel like will probably do maybe just about as much damage. Lapras isn't really great defensively, but it does have a butt ton of HP, so it can soak up a hell of a lot of hits. Um, I don't really think he'll, or she, or whatever, will be able to switch into anything safely for a Flare Blitz, so I think that's probably my best option. It should at least do more than half, or just about half, okay. Uh, and then I'll probably get hit with a... Growl. <laughs> I mean, understandably, that does lower my attack, so I'm not going to be able to hit you very hard following up with that. Um... I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Let's get, switch over to Serena. Or Serena. I don't know if they ex were doing that to make me switch. I don't know anyone that actually competitively uses Growl on Lapras. So I'm a little confused. Uh, the Ice Shard. Why would you use... Alright. <laughs> I'm over here thinking this person got like some high depth, interesting team. But you're over here using Ice Shard on Darmanitan, which would have done nothing. Um, and you got the Growl. And you're using Ice Shard again. Even though I have Queen Majesty, uh, which, if you don't know, is an ability that makes it so priority moves just don't work at all. So if you go for a quick attack or extreme speed or ice shard in this case, it just won't work. I don't understand why they would even go for that. On a Lapras to begin with, because Lapras doesn't really have a lot. I, don't know. I have so many fucking questions that, you know what, I'm not even going to bother. Um, so let's go ahead and hit this thing up with a Trop Kick here. What this will do is it'll allow me to break the disguise. Uh, they're gonna go for the sword. I mean, they got that part right, I guess. Uh, they're gonna go here for the sword stance. I'll break the disguise here, and then also trap kick. Trap kick is pretty dope in that it also lowers their attack. So even though they just got a plus two attack, now they've only got plus one. Um, so they actually won't be able to wreck me completely, and their disguise is gone. So I can. Go ahead and try and go for another Trop Kick here. I don't know what they're going to try and do. I'm pretty sure if they hit, try to hit me with something, they won't kill me in one turn. Uh, due to the fact that I lowered their attack. And then now that I'm going to hit them with another Trop Kick, their Sword Stance is basically null and void at this point. Because they're back to minus two from their plus two, so they're at zero. So they're even, and I can definitely kill this thing off with another Trop Kick here. Uh, they're going to go for Shadow Claw, which is going to do about 40. Yeah, 43, or I should say, leave me at about 40, I did about 50. And then, down goes the Mimikyu. Can't believe I went into this all prepared and like, worried and like, all these things. I'm like, oh man, they got the Gigamax Lapras and the Eevee and the this. But then all this other nonsense happened. And unfortunately, all they've got left now is the Quagsire, which is a water ground type. Which Quagsire is actually great, don't get me wrong, Quagsire is one of my favorite Pokemon competitively because unaware is one of its abilities where it allows it to just completely ignore your opponent's stat boots so you can use swords dance three times have maximum attack 
all make a fucking difference to Quagsire. It is amazing. But, uh, that's not really going to help them out at all in this fight. And also, they're weak to grass. So, I'm probably going to end up... Oh, okay, maybe not. I was going to say, I'm probably going to end up killing them in one hit with this drop kick. But I had actually completely forgotten about the fact that they can Dynamax at any point in time. So, I really got to get used to that, specifically. But... Um, this should still do a probably half damage, <laughs> and I'm definitely faster than a Quagsire. Um, but it should probably still be yeah, a little bit over half. Uh, lowers the attack. Don't know what you're gonna hit me with. I am using the assault vessel. If it was a special attack, it won't hurt me as much, which it seems like this might have been. He might have used an Earth Power, so it made it Max Quake, uh, the special one. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and Dynamax just to get the giant big-legged fucking plant lady, and maybe I can use that as a thumbnail for this video. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get a chance to use Serena, especially to Dynamax her. She's not really too great, I think. I just really like, you know, Queen Majesty and Tropkick and stuff like that, but I don't think she's all that useful. Plus, she has Rapid Spin. That's mainly the main reason I have her, um, but in any case... This was a very interesting fight. Um, I did want to provide a small sort of team update. Um, I am using the same team I did, or rather that I had last time. The only difference is this time I actually went and I gave my Pokemon Dynamax candies. So they have the max Dynamax level. Um, I completely actually forgot about that in doing all the preparations for this team. Because I built this team from the ground up. So, you know, I bred them. I uh, gave them all the right moves. I EV trained them. I leveled them up. I did all that myself. But in that process, I forget now, the new thing you have to do also on top of all that is give them Dynamax candies, which um, what it does is just increases their Dynamax level. Oh, sweet. Got a bottle of calcium. Does that mean I ranked up? Uh, do you want to? Yes. Let's check what the fuck is going on here. So you got the Focus Sash. This is like thought that we're going to bring out. We usually see this in like doubles and whatnot. Um, and they got the Psychic Surge. Oh, okay. Uh, this thing does have the mud shot, which I think I guess is yes. Yeah, why mud shot? <laughs> I guess it lowers speed, but like why? Oh, uh, Nani. <laughs> okay, everything else kind of makes sense, except for the rain dance. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, this is just a basic ass fucking Eevee, like dead ass. It's <laughs> just a normal ass Eevee that has this normal ass move set. So that definitely threw me off. This thing has. Alright, enough of this. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was about. Um, let's go ahead and do another one real quick. Um, so anyways, as I was saying, the Dynamax candies, they... Um, oh, sweet! We got rank up to beginner rank 2. Or beginner tier 2. Wherever the hell we want to phrase it. Uh, so let's go ahead and search for another battle here. Alright, so we got ourselves our next opponent here. Uh, somewhat interesting team here. Got the Rotom Fan. Interesting. Uh, Rebom... Rebombi or whatever the hell his name is. Rhythm Monkey. Uh, Arcanine. Seismitoad. Uh, Dragon Catapult thing. And Orbeetle. Orbeetle. Which is pretty interesting. Uh, so... Let's see. Hydrogen can do good against the Beetle. And maybe not so much the Dragon. But technically, it can do something to it. But it'll get outsped. Uh, I don't know if I'll live a hit. I might live a hit. Uh, and that thing is a little bit bulky. Um, Seismitoad is kind of annoying, so maybe I'll bring in Serena again. Um, can maybe use... Well, I don't know if I can really use Arcanine. We got the fan, so I don't I don't really use Earthquake too much. Um, Alright, so I'm thinking maybe we'll do Poltergeist here. Serena and Hydreigon. That might be the best way to go. We'll see. Uh, I probably could have maybe done... Uh, what's her name? Serena first instead and saved the Pulte guys um, for the Dracopult or whatever. But we'll see how this plays out. Um, I gotta like also... Because I, I kind of just... The way I do this selecting my team is I look at what my opponent has and I just pick the Pokemon that I think most likely will do best against you know, their team, like, statistically. So if, like, they have a team of entire grass types, I'm obviously going to bring a fire type, even though they might not select, you know, they're not going to bring all six of them, right? Um, so we're going to go ahead and here go for the Shell Smash, because why the hell not? But, yeah, I also have to start thinking about what they're actually going to bring. Oof, that's not good. 
Didn't know this thing new trick. It's gonna give me a choice scarf, which is gonna lock me into the self smash, which is horrible, and it gives him a focus ash, which isn't great either. Well, this is unfortunate. I would have wished I switched out into Hydreigon. That would have been sick, because I would have gotten rid of my life orb, and I would have gotten a choice scarf, which would have been gross, uh, dope. But actually, this isn't half bad, because uh, I can Dynamax now, <clears throat> go into the Max Phantasm, and do a fuck ton of damage. Um, so I can do that. And I don't think you guys anything. I can take a Shadow Ball, a plus two Shadow Ball from a Portagais really easily. So this, this actually isn't too bad. Thankfully for a Dynamax thing, the best thing I love about it is that you can go in with choice items and then use another move once you Dynamax. But anyways, as I was saying, I need to try and work on figuring out what my opponent is going to select actually, and also what they're going to select when they see my team, you know? So I got to work on that a little bit. Um, but the other thing I was saying before this battle started was, of course, they got the Focus Sash, is that I did give my Pokemon all max... Uh, level, for, or rather, I gave them a bunch of candy so that they have the max level now for Dynamaxing. So that means they get the max pluses for their HP when they Dynamax. And we've got the Sticky Web here, which is <clears throat> super interesting. But that works out Chunky Dory, because I do have Serena in the back. Um, my Pokemon aren't exceptionally fast, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm not entirely sure why he's going here for the Dynamax with the Orbeetle that has 1 HP. You're going to get some HP back from Dynamaxing, but what is the point of this? <laughs> Unless he's going to go for the Max Guard with the uh, Sticky Web, is all I can think of. But why are you saving your Orbeetle? It's not really... I guess he's just trying to wither out my Dynamax, is what he's trying to do. So he's probably maybe going to go for the Max... Um... Phantasm, or sorry, Max Phantasm. Max Guard once again, trying to get the double. Unfortunately, he does not. So now the Orbito is going to die, and then I'm going to Undynamax this turn, unfortunately. Um, which is going to force me to then go back to being locked into Shell Smash, because now I do have the Choice Scarf on me. So, I wonder what he's going to bring in next. Because he basically sacrificed his... Orbito as the lead there just to throw out sticky webs and fuck me up which is understandable it's fine but I'm wondering what he's gonna come in to next because I can't Dynamax anymore but neither can he all right so that's unfortunate so this thing I was wanting to save my mon for so I can try and do something but as you can see here I'm gonna try and go for Shadow Ball but I'm locked in so he's gonna do one of two things he knows that I'm obviously forced into switch at this point um, which really sucks for me. So he's gonna either try and boost up. I don't think this has any boosting moves to be honest, or he's gonna go for a really strong move to try and take me out. So I can do one of two things. Um, I don't know if he's actually going to boost up, because I don't know if this thing has any actual boosting moves. So let's go for another shell smash. Uh, because either he kills me. And, I mean, whatever. I was kind of going to take the hit anyways. Or he does something interesting here. Because I don't think this thing has, like, Nasty Plot or Dragon Dance or anything. But I could be wrong. I don't know this thing very well. There we go. The Phantom Force. All right. That's what I was waiting for. We need to see what he would go for. So that's a physical attack move. This thing has good physical attack. Um, so now he's going to basically just kill me out in one hit. If I bring on the head Dragon, he's going to take it. He can probably take one Phantom Force and be okay. But this thing is still going to outspeed me. So I'm better off. Even though I want to keep the Choice Scarf uh, Poltergeist. Because, you know, it does have plus speed and whatnot. Would be pretty dope to use. Uh, I'm not going to be able to keep it. I'm just going to have to sacrifice it at this point. To take this Phantom Force so that I can try and switch into Serena safely. Um, I've used three Stealth Smash at this point, so this is obviously going to kill me in one hit, no matter what. Um, so that now I can just go ahead. And let's go ahead and switch over to the Serena here. I do have the play rough, so I can use that. Uh, and this is, I guess, a physical attacking Dragapult. Um, unfortunately, I cannot spin away the webs, but it's kind of redundant to have sticky webs in this thing because I wasn't going to be able to outspeed it in the first place. Um, so I could go for the Trop Kick, actually, and try and give myself some longevity here. Um, 
And I could maybe... Hey, Miko's online. <laughs> uh, give myself some longevity here, but let's see. Ooh, okay, this might actually work out. If you use the U-turn, I'm still alive. Whatever you're coming in is going to take minus attack here. So let's see what you've got. I don't remember his team too well, so I don't know if there's anything uh, threatening. Oh, okay, perfect. The Arcanine. That actually works out. You're going to take down my attack, which, you know, I'm actually okay with that. Because now I'm going to hit you with a drop kick. Which is equally going to lower your attack. And unfortunately that U-turn did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to do. So I probably cannot survive a hit. But what I can try to do is... Well, actually, no. I shouldn't have done that. I was going to try to use the rapid spin to get rid of the sticky web. But I don't really think that really matters. Because <laughs> I think Arcanine outspeeds Hydreigon anyways. And... The, um... Uh... Uh, what's it called? The Dragapult is definitely going to outspeed our Dragon anyways. So it doesn't really, wouldn't really matter had it gone for Rapid Spin. I actually hit it. But let's go here and try Dragon, who, oh right, has Levitate. So I don't get stuck on that. But there's not really much that I can do here. Um, obviously, I can, you're probably Choice Scarfed, right? Or Choice Bandit, I should say. Um, so you could go for that move again. I could just try and go for a Dark Pulse, see if that hits you. Or maybe if you're trying to go for the Switch, try and catch the Dragapult. Um... I think either way, you know, you're going to hit me. Oh, fuck. I could have taken it out in one hit. I didn't actually think I'd be faster than this thing. That's shocking. Actually. <laughs> and I avoided it. Holy camoli papa boli. <laughs> Play rough has a 90% accuracy, so I just dodged that. That would have killed me in one hit, no matter what. Because I'm four times weak to that. Uh, but unfortunately, I could have just gone for the Surf and killed it. I was hoping he would maybe switch for whatever reason. Or I I initially thought he was going to be faster than me. Um, and he was just going to go ahead and, you know, hit me with a really hard move. Probably kill me because I'm not really bulky or anything like that. But instead, he went <laughs> for the play rough. Unfortunately, missed but he was somehow slower than me, which is really weird. But in any case, this thing is 7,000 times faster than me, so there's no way I'm going to be able to attack first. It's probably going to go for the, okay, the dragon darts, which is going to hit me once and probably kill me. Yep. Regretfully. Had I gone for the surf first turn, maybe I could have in the Arcanine and maybe survived the hit? I highly doubt it. <laughs> highly doubt I would have survived the Dragon Dart, but oh well. Getting tr tricked uh, that first uh, match really screwed me over, but oh well. Um, yeah, so I've been sort of messing around with the format for this a little bit. I wanted to try and do three battles, but I want to keep these around 20 minutes long. So this battle, I guess, took a lot longer than usual. I don't know if I would actually be able to squeeze in three battles, but we'll see. But in any case, take care of yourself.